Ah, the relative world. Heaven letter number 5830. November 10, 2016. Beloved ones, do you believe you know just how everything in life is supposed to be? You may be certain that life isn't to appear the way it does, yet life has appeared in this way. You protest. You may protest big time, yet, where does protest get you? Life may not be a snap for you right now. There may well be nothing jolly about the situation you find yourself in. Sooner or later, some way or another, you have to make peace with life as it appears right now, whether or not life at the moment is your favored choice or not. To be in a difficult situation is hard enough. To be in a difficult situation is extra hard when you refuse to bend. Make peace with life and the people in it. Let go of your attachment to your thoughts being correct, and life at fault. Fault is not the question. Fault doesn't make your heartache better. In fact, fault bolts you to where you are. Prove wrongdoing to the hilt, and, still, you are where you are. Let's get you unstuck. Once there was a story about a man who was in severe pain because of his right big toe. There was no lessening of the pain he experienced until, until he was wounded in his left knee as well. Then the sore toe wasn't so sore. This tale points out how it is that everything in the world is relative. In one sense, your summation of your situation, no matter what it may be, is your decision. Inevitably the way you meet a challenge is decidedly your decision. You are the one who weighs your situation. You decide how dire it is. The emphasis is yours. Consider looking at your life in a new way. Make a different estimation. Get grief out of the way. Make friends with life. Dear ones, you can't stay in dire emergency forever. You are the one who has the power to remodel and renew yourself. In terms of human self-determination, the move is yours. Remember this quality of self-determination that allows for movement and a new appraisal. Find value. Whatever the cause or causes of your circumstances, you may not be able to change them or change them at this moment. Then it is yourself who has to change. Something of yourself is within your power to change. Change your circumstances by how you look at them. What you can change and must change are your ideas of how you view your circumstances. You can sigh. You can blubber. You can decide. You can be a willing victim, or you can also rise above the limits you set upon yourself. People give up, and people keep shining through. When you were not in a dire situation, even then, perhaps you were not always soaring at the height of joy. Extol that which you have available to you now and to appreciate now. Scoop yourself up from off the floor. Put your head on straight. Walk, run, or hobble. Life is waiting. Accept what has come to you at the same time as you don't settle for it. Your happiness, when all is said and done, depends upon you. Lift yourself up to a greater height. Be the life companion you want to be. Will you admit that, even from a bedside, you can foresee good fortune and reach out for it? Your life now is waiting for you to access and claim good fortune. Write a note to yourself in firm handwriting. Remind yourself of what you want instead of how dismal you have been feeling because of this or because of that. Take the steps to bring you closer to your true self. Never tell yourself that you must be realistic. The very same realism, if you adhere to it, will eliminate you from the running. Never eliminate yourself. Look up high. Aim high. Believe in me, and believe in you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org